Hey, what's up? This is Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. This is my weekly video blog called Bullheaded, a review of the Houston Texans news, as well as a preview of the upcoming game matchups. So, this Saturday, the Texans will be kicking off NFL Wildcard Weekend by hosting the Buffalo Bills in their, in their first round matchup. Um, both teams are coming in at 10 and 6. Buffalo uh, showcasing their stout defense um, that they like they have been doing all season. Uh, Texans showcasing their explosive offense as they have been doing all year as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is just give you three key things that the Texans need to do in order to uh, win this game. So first thing they need to do is hold Josh Allen in the pocket. So one of his, uh, Allen's been improving a lot as a second year quarterback. And one of the attributes that um, has been very noticeable is his mobility. Um, he's able to get outside the pocket and make a play by either throwing the ball on the run or just running the ball for some extra yards or possibly even a first down or two. Um, so what the Texans need to do is kind of uh, contain that a little bit and just turn the pressure up on them a little bit. Uh, so, you know, just contain them and just force them to make an error uh, with the football, um, whether it's, you know, throwing an inadvertent pass, uh, throwing the ball away or, you know, holding it on for a sack or whatever. But uh, basically, uh, Texans just have to, you know, just make sure that they close the pocket down uh, pretty quick on him and make sure he's not able to get outside of it. Um, if he does happen to get outside the pocket, uh, make sure that, you know, you keep, that the sec secondary has to make sure to keep an eye on wide receiver John Brown. Um speedy guy that's been with you know the Arizona Cardinals the Baltimore Ravens auto you know or whatever and so make sure that you know that uh keep an eye on him and so he doesn't get uh open for any big plays like at all because once he catches that ball you know he'll definitely uh take off on you uh second thing that needs to happen is Texans have to take a chance on running the football so uh with the Bills um they have a they have a 10th ranked uh run defense um, but they've given up a couple of, they've given up, uh, some, they've had some games where they've given up like some yards or so, you know, they've had a couple of games where they've given up a hundred yards or so. So, um, guys like, uh, Shaq Lawson, uh, Ed Oliver, uh, Tremaine Edmonds, uh, yeah, Oliver and, uh, Lawson along that defensive line, Edmonds being, uh, the linebacker or the star linebacker, um, they'll definitely, uh, Excuse me. Yeah, uh, Texans will definitely um, have to pick and choose their spots on when they want to strike with the run game. They should not, Texans should not shy away from it at all. Uh, we have Carlos Hyde, a thousand yard rusher this season. Uh, Duke Johnson, he does pretty uh, good as well. Um, so that's definitely a great one two punch. Uh, Johnson's not just a great uh, res a running back to catch out of the backfield. Um, he can, you know, guess he can get a couple good runs or so um, throughout the game. So um, I would definitely say don't shy away from running the ball against his uh, defense. I think we were, I think when we played Tennessee, they were eighth ranked um, against the run at the time. This is when we played them the first time. And yeah, at the time they were ranked eighth against the run. And, you know, um, Hyde, he still broke off for like 100 yards that game. So, uh, definitely we're going to need um, Hyde and Johnson in on that uh, ground attack. And it's going to help open up the play action against the uh, corners. Um, I think Levi Wallace is supposed to be uh, hurt or and not in this game and probably won't be able to play in this game uh, this weekend. So, um, he'll be replaced by Kevin Johnson, former Texan uh, Kevin Johnson. And also, um, of course, the secondary will be led by uh, Tredavious White. Um, so, yeah, definitely. Um, oh, excuse me. <laughs> yes, he'll be led by uh, Tredavious White. So, um, if we can get the run game going, that'll help with the play action against those cornerbacks and, you know, have them on their toes and we can just open up the passing game through there. Um, last thing that the Texans need to do is do not underestimate the weak schedule of the Buffalo Bills. Um, you know, there's not a real slight to them, uh, but it is what it is. They haven't beat they haven't beaten a team um, that's made the playoffs this season. The only team that they've beaten uh, that's made the playoffs, and that was the Tennessee Titans, but that was earlier in the year uh, before Tennessee made the switch from Mariota to Tannehill. And, of course, you know, and when they did that, Titans went on that huge run and, you know, got into the sixth seed. Um, 
But, yeah, other than that, they haven't really – after that uh, Tennessee game, they haven't really beaten anybody that's qualified for the playoffs. Um, they got blew out by the Eagles. Uh, they were – they did beat the Cowboys, but, you know, unfortunately, you know how that turned out. Um, and, you know, they almost beat the Patriots, but, you know, they didn't beat the Patriots. Um, the one thing I will say about um, the uh, – uh, we'll say about the Bills, and which is part of the reason I wrote this uh, third bullet point for them, is that you know they're not afraid of the moment. So that's what I'm saying. Like, do not underestimate their week schedule. They will play you hard. Um, so to my point, you know about the Cowboys game. Cowboys were, you know, kind of the better team um, at that time, or assumed to be the better team at that time. And here they are. The Bills are um, out playing them in Dal in Dallas's stadium. Um, they're out playing uh, the Cowboys in Cowboys Stadium um, on national TV on the Thanksgiving game. Um, same thing with the New England Patriots. Um, they almost beat the Patriots, you know, had it not been for their, you know, second half collapse or whatever. But uh, the fact that they were able to jump out to a 17-13 lead on the Patriots on national, on national TV once again uh, just shows you that they're not afraid of the moment. Even going back to the Pittsburgh Steelers game, now, granted, Pittsburgh wasn't like, you know, the – uh, wasn't such a strong team, or I would say offensively, offensively. Um, but they were able to like, but they were able to get on national TV and you know force you know get like four interceptions or whatever. So the Buffalo is not afraid of this moment, and they should not be underestimated at any cost. Um, so yeah, Texans definitely have to take this team seriously, like they're playing you know Super Bowl champs or whatever. So. Those are my three items, man. Uh, keep Josh Allen in the pocket. Uh, take a chance on running the ball against this team and, you know, getting the play action going. And also do not underestimate the Buffalo Bills, you know, playing a weak schedule and getting to where they are today. Texans do all three of those things. They'll definitely be able to get a W this weekend. Move on to the next round of the playoffs. So, that being said, I'm Brandon Simmons for BrandonSimmons.biz. Holla blast.